Okay, hi there, Jeff here. Let's spend a few minutes, if it's okay with you, thinking about the importance of marginal revenue as a concept applied to a business. So, quick reminder, marginal revenue is the change in total revenue from selling an extra unit. And uh, providing the marginal revenue is positive, then if a business sells extra units, that's going to add to their top line. It's going to increase their total revenue. And many businesses have as one of their objectives the aim of increasing their revenue. Now, this is important to many businesses because if you can squeeze those extra customers, uh, sales to those extra people, that can be the difference between making a profit or making a loss. So marginal revenue can be very significant for businesses. Now, the uh, much depends on whether a business needs to lower their prices to sell the extra units, as we'll see in a second. And critically, the price elasticity of demand, the coefficient of elasticity, becomes important. Price elasticity, of course, the responsiveness or the sensitivity of demand to a change in price. I'm going to give you a few few examples, just uh, by way of illustration. So airlines, for example, obviously looking to make a profit, and typically they have to sell a certain percentage of seats, let's say, I don't know, 75, 80% of seats to cover their cost, the cost of the flight, uh, the operating costs of the flight. Now, if they can sell those seats, they can break even, but any extra passengers they can get on the flight uh, through maybe different pricing strategies, that can be the extra profit. The marginal revenue can turn uh, a break-even flight into a profitable flight. And of course, low-cost airlines such as Ryanair and EasyJet are masters of the art of using pricing, dynamic pricing based on demand and other factors to try and squeeze the extra revenue out of consumers. Summer festivals, well, the likes of breading, and Leeds, their board masters and others, many festivals, of course, Glastonbury, they sell out within just a few minutes or hours of tickets going public. So in a sense, not always the case, but in a sense, summer festivals, that once you've chosen your price, you've sold out of tickets and there isn't many extra tickets to be, to be found. Occasionally they might release some extra tickets if needs be. Uh, but often, I think with summer festivals, the, the, the actual price at issue is essentially what generates the revenue. And it's quite hard for summer festivals, even if they're allowed to, to sell extra tickets to, uh, to customers. So marsh revenue perhaps less important there, although, of course, there are secondary ticketing sites for people who maybe can't make, can't make the, uh, the event and want to, uh, to, to sell their ticket. I think a really good example of what goes on is, is cinemas and theatres. Again, the cost of running a show in the West End or in Broadway or regional theatre is pretty high cost running a theatre. And if you've got empty seats, then that can be uh, bad for the performers, but also bad for your financials. And many um, uh, cinema, area, uh, many ticketing uh, theatre areas such as New York have standby booths where you can maybe get a half price ticket if there's a spare ticket close to performance. Theatres like to have a full auditorium not just for the performance, but because they've already sold some tickets at the given, given price. And if they can just squeeze some extra marginal revenue from selling a few extra tickets, that could be uh, quite significant financially. I said I'd talk about elasticity. This is just a little bit of theory for you. Hopefully it's useful. Here we've got a price elastic demand. We cut the price from P1 to P2. Yeah, we lose the blue area because we're charging a lower price. We gain the orange area because we're selling a bigger quantity. So here, a fall in price leads to an increase in revenue, and therefore marginal revenue will be positive. Whereas here, cutting the price from P1 to P2, well, we're lowering the price quite a bit. We're only getting a little extra quantity. Demand here is price inelastic. Marginal revenue here will actually be negative for this business. If they, if they cut the price from P1 to P2, their revenues in total will go down because demand is price inelastic. So marginal revenue will be negative. Now there's one case, special case, where the demand curve is drawn as perfectly elastic horizontal demand curve, a coefficient of infinity for price elasticity of demand. So here, uh, if you charge P1, you might sell Q1 or you might sell Q2, but you can sell any quantity you want at the same price. 
and any extra sale will be adding to your revenue at the same rate. So if the demand curve is perfectly elastic, a high quantity can be sold without a change in price. Therefore, revenue will increase in proportion to the quantity sold. In fact, in this situation, the average and marginal revenue curves are one and the same. There we go. A few minutes on the importance of marginal revenue.